So what exactly is a plugin? A plugin is a component that extends the native functionality of Apex. In the modern web, there are all kinds of tools and widgets that developers can use for various tasks. So many, in fact, the Apex development team couldn't possibly incorporate them all into Apex. Even if they did, Apex would become bloated. Just imagine if you had to select from hundreds of options each time you went to add an item to a page. So that's what plugins do. They extend Apex while keeping the core lean. Now you may be thinking, wait a second, Apex is extensible. I've always been able to integrate external products, and that's true. In the past, you could manually integrate anything you wanted, provided you knew how. Manual integration requires outside knowledge apart from SQL and PLSQL, which is what most Apex developers are comfortable with. To integrate components in the web, knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript was also necessary. But even if you had the knowledge, it was still time consuming. And manual integration could never be done in a way that was easy to repeat. The new plugin architecture solves all of these problems. It allows developers outside of the Apex development team to create components that people can install and use, as if they were native components. As you'd expect, the plugins go with your application, so you don't have to worry about that when deploying into production. 